Hi guys, it's the Mildew here and today I'll be doing my 2022 to 2023 championship predictions. So I'll be starting at 24th place and going all the way up to 1st place. So let's get into it. So at rock bottom, I've gone with Reading and I think that because they've lost their main man in John Swift. And I don't think points is a good manager at all. Now for 23rd, I've gone with Rotherham. Of course, last season they got automatic promotion from League One, but they've always struggled in the championship. So I predict them to go straight back down. For 22nd, I've gone with Birmingham. Of course, they just sacked their manager, Lee Bowyer, and brought in a new manager called John Eustace, I think his name is. And in the middle of a transfer window, that is a very strange thing to do. And I just feel their club is a proper mess at the moment. So I think they'll go down. Now for 21st, I've gone with Wigan. Of course, last season they won League One. But like Rotherham in recent years, they've always struggled in the Championship. But I do think they'll narrowly survive. For 20th place, I've gone with Bristol City. And I have to say, it's been a very stale last few years for them. And I just don't see them progressing. For 19th, I'm going to go with Blackpool. Of course, last season they had quite a respectable first year back in the Championship under Neil Critchley. But now under Mark Atherton, I think they'll struggle a bit more and finish 19th. So for 18th, I've gone for Cardiff. Of course, last season they were really poor under Mill legend Steve Morrison. And they have signed quite a few players this transfer window. But no one who's going to take them to the next level, in my opinion. For 17th, I've gone with Preston. And they're kind of similar to Bristol City in the sense that they're kind of just there. So I think they're going to have quite an average season. For 16th, I've gone for Sunderland. Of course, last season they were promoted through the playoffs after spending a good few years in League One. But I think they'll survive comfortably this year in the Championship. And you never know, in a few years they could be promoted back to the Premier League. Now this one might surprise some people. I've put Luton to finish 15th. Of course, last season they finished 5th, having an amazing season. But I think it was fluke and I have a feeling they're going to fall off massively this year. Now for 14th, I've gone for commentary. I think they're going to have a similar season to last year where they're going to start quite well then they're going to drift off a bit at the end. For 13th, I've gone with Hull City and I don't know why but I feel like they're going to have a good season. Of course, they've got their new owners and if they go and sign a few quality players then I can see them having a good year. Now for 12th, I've gone for QPR. Of course, this season they've got a new manager in Michael Bill and I have a feeling they'll start off really bad then pick up at the end of the season and have a mid-table finish. For 11th, I've gone with Stoke. They've made some decent signings this year, bringing in Aidan Flynn and Josh Laurent, so I definitely see them being playoff contenders. For 10th, I've gone for Blackburn. Of course, last season they finished 8th, and obviously this season they've got a new manager, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but I know he's done very well in the Swedish leagues, so I think Blackburn are going to have another decent season. Now for 9th, I'm going to go for Huddersfield. Of course, last season they were in the player final, and there were a few questionable decisions in that match. But anyway, um, this season, I don't see him making the playoffs, but we'll have to wait and see. Now for eighth, I've gone with Swansea. Of course, last season, they were really poor, finishing 15th. But I always remember when they come to the Den and absolutely embarrassed us on the pitch. So I reckon next year, they'll do quite well and finish just outside the playoffs. For seventh, I'm going to go with Sheffield United. Of course, last season, they were really unlucky to lose in the playoff semi-final on penalties to Forest, but I don't see them getting top six next season. And now for sixth place, I've gone for Middlesbrough. Of course, last season, they never really missed out on the top six, but they only had Chris Wilder for a part of the season. Now that they've got Chris Wilder for the whole season, I reckon they'll make the playoffs. Now for fifth place, I know there's going to be a lot of people who call me biased, but I've gone for Millwall. We've had a brilliant transfer window, bringing in Benic Phobe, George Honeyman, Zian Fleming and Charlie Cresswell on loan from Leeds. And in the last two years, we have flirted with the playoffs, so I have a feeling this year could be our year. Now for fourth, I'm going to go with West Brom. Of course, last season, they were terrible, finishing 10th. But this transfer window, they've made some brilliant signings, bringing in John Swift from Reading and Jeb Wallace from Millwall. So I do see them having a good season. Now for third place, I've gone with Watford. Of course, coming down from the Premier League, I think they'll have a really strong season, but just miss out on automatic promotion. For second place, I've gone with Burnley. Of course, now under Vincent Company, I reckon they'll go straight back up and I have a feeling Scott Twine will be their main man. To win the championship, I've gone with Norwich City. In recent years, they've always pissed the league and with the quality they've got, I reckon they'll do it again. Well, there you go, guys. They were my 2022 
2023 Championship predictions. I've probably got these all wrong, but I guess we'll see you at the end of the season. Come, you lions. In the road.